welcome to the channel and if this is your first video welcome to the golfing four i hope you're having a great day i'm here at the melia Villetana in finistrat just outside of benidorm and it's a glorious day for golf there's two courses on property here at the melia uh, today we're playing the levante course which is the longer of the two it plays about 6,300 yards and the challenge is simple i'm going to try and break 85. now it's par 72 so that means I can be 12 over par. And for context, I've only ever shot 12 over par or better twice in my life. So it's very challenging, but I want to challenge myself. My hope for this year is to get to break 80 at some point, but we're gonna start at 85. I've no idea how likely we are to do that. I've been making a few swing changes during the winter, which are still bedding in a little bit, but my game has been in a good place. The biggest challenge here are firstly, bunkers. There are thousands of them, maybe exaggerating a little, but I've never seen so many bunkers. And secondly, the greens, there's grain, they're very, very super fast, and they're very difficult to put on. A putt can go flying past. So I'm not quite sure how likely we are to shoot 85 or better, but we're gonna give it our, our best, and hopefully we can, uh, we can get somewhere near. I'd be happy anything sub 90, if I'm being honest. This is the first in a series of break 85 I'm gonna do on different courses all over the place. So stay tuned, enjoy. Let's see if we can get it done together. After a great drive, first swing of the day, we're about 100 yards. Uh, I'm going to do a little pitching wedge here, just purely because I don't want to have to swing hard. First iron shot of the day. I just really want to make sure we get it on the green. And I may have just put it in the bunker. Okay, so I actually didn't make the bunker, but I'm on a bit of a nasty down slope here. So a nice little chip on would be good. I'll live with that, even though it's going to go off the green a little, I think. Okay. Very quick look at that. Barely tapped that. It can fly in past. You can really do with this one dropping. Okay, I can live with that. That's a five on the first. I'd take a five on this hole because it's not easy at all. So as we mentioned, just littered with bunkers is the fairway, all at drivable distance. The idea is probably to just go left of that big one in the middle of the fairway and hope that we can uh, stay out of them. Yep, that should be perfect. I think that went far as well. That was a really good hit. Let's go see if we can get on the green. So about 120 yards, ball below my feet. Just need to get it up there, aim a bit left. Might be a little short. Go up there and see if we've made it into the bunker. The first of what I'm sure will be many bunkers today. If anything's going to ruin my scorecard, this could be it. A nasty little shot, thin green. It is pin high, so I should say I didn't hit it that well. It did end up not too bad. I just want to get out here and not end up in the one at the other side. That's my only, my only ask of this. Don't go in the one at the other side. Yep, I'll take that. Not a bad line. 
again though i don't think i can hit those putts any softer than that and they still have so much pace on them okay two over through two i'm not unhappy with that first swings of the day it's a bit cold out here bunkers two through two we need to improve but not a bad start Hole three is a long par three. It's playing at about 180 yards to the pin. And so I'm gonna hit a little hybrid there. And I know what you're thinking, it's strange. I'm using a hybrid, don't worry. I'll be explaining that in some of the other videos while we're out here in Spain. But yes, it's a four hybrid that I'm hitting. Should be the number if I can hit this well. just on the front of the green, just off the green. That's okay. That's not terrible, a bit low, a bit toppy, but it got us there. So it ran on quite a bit, although I am almost pin high, so it's the right club. Challenging little chips back here. I didn't bring my scope, because I didn't think I was this far, so I'm not quite sure on the distance. I'm gonna have to just judge this one by feel. Leave us a putt, that's all I really wanted there. And I have. It's okay. And stop, stop, stop. Again, I just don't know how to hit those any softer than that. Too hard. Okay. So that's a double then. That's not good news for the break 85. Don't put us out of it yet, a couple of pars. We can get back on track. So if ever you want to bounce back from a double bogey, this is the perfect hole. It is a reachable par five, so I can make it in two. The only issue is, if you just turn and look, again, there's more bunker than fairway to aim at. Now, I can carry some of those, and hopefully I will. But if we can get a par on this hole, it really would put us back in it. That may have reached the bunker on the left. I'm hoping that we're short of it. Let's go and find out. So the drive was lucky. It's hit this hill and, and rolled down, so I didn't end up in the bunker. <clears throat> um, we're only 150 yards out. This should be a nice smooth seven iron. My irons haven't felt particularly great yet this morning, so I'm hoping a nice smooth seven gets us and we don't end up in some of the other bunkers in front of the green. Chunked it again. Might bounce through the middle of them though, if I'm lucky. Yeah, I think it might have done. I might have bounced through the middle of all of those. Just, I don't know whether I'm coming too steep on the ball, but I keep hitting ground first. I need to figure that out soon. Slightly disappointing with that seven iron. Really should have been on the green or near, but we were very lucky that we came through the middle of the bunkers and missed them all. So chip on for green in regulation if we can get this on and then a couple of putts for a par. That would be nice. Stay on the green, please stay on the green. Thinned it. Something wrong with these irons today. Something wrong with these irons. We'll figure it out though. This one's even worse coming down the hill. A little brow of the hill I was hoping to get it over, but I'm on the green at least. Looks like another bogey at best. Difficult putt. 
My aim is to actually try and leave a foot short. That's what I'm going to try and do with this. It's downhill, breaking from left to right. If I can leave it short, I'd be very happy. Too short, but I left it short. That's what I was aiming for. Down the edge of the hole. Another double on what should have been a par, if not a birdie hole. I'm not gonna lie, that stings. But at least it's happening early in the round. It gives us time to get some shots back. We need pars. We need pars. Hopefully they're coming. Really frustrated with that hole to be 150 yards out from a lovely drive and then to make double bogey. So that puts us six over through four holes, which is well over 90 if we carry on like this. I really need to get some shots back. And it is my irons, I've, I don't know. I've been striking them so well at home and I've just lost that confidence a little bit. And chips onto those greens terrify me because of, you've normally got a really thin bit of green to work with and they run off so quick, the putts terrify me. I know I said this about the last hole, but this is a scorable hole, this is quite a short par four, so normally, again, there's a million bunkers, but um, the more central of the bunkers on the right, if you aim for that, I can't reach that, and then it's normally just a wedge onto the green. Again, it's a very parable hole. I've birded this hole before, so it is scorable, but it, <laughs> it all depends on those irons working out. Ironically, I'm actually feeling more confident about my driver than any of the club. And that's why. Straight down the middle again. There is a bunker there actually on the left which if it hits the contours, it might have rolled into the bunker. But again, I'm happy with that strike. I'm happy with that distance. Again, I've managed to avoid all of the bunkers. I found myself in the middle of the fairway. I've skirted the one that was on our left, missed the one that was on our right, which to be honest, makes the score even more frustrating because I've not been in anywhere near as many bunkers as I normally would be. I need to start making that pay. Anyway, so we're uphill here to the flag. You can see, obviously, there's bunkers surrounding the green. Why wouldn't there be? Um, he's playing about 95 yards. That should be an absolutely perfect 50 degree. And I say should be. Obviously, based on today, who knows? <laughs> who knows? That felt solid. So still pretty short, if I'm honest. I'm still quite a way off pin high, but I've made it to the green. I didn't leave it short enough to be in the bunker. Got to take some small wins at this point in time, to be honest. So again, I just want to leave this short. This is actually less daunting than some of the others because it's slightly downhill to the pin, but then behind the pin, there's an uphill again. So it's not just going to keep running away if I do give this a little bit too much. But leaving it short would still be ideal. Or hole in it would be better. Now it's just going to pull away. Okay, so we've made a par. We've steadied the ship. Really should be parring that hole, just like we should have parred the last one. But it feels good. Build some momentum. If we can get another two or three pars on this front nine, we will be in okay shape going into the back nine. The next one's a long par four, uh, and then a par three over water. So saying that and doing it are two very different things. It's uh, getting boring saying it now, but basically it's driver and try and avoid the bunkers left and right. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that as a given from now on. If I don't say it, just assume there's bunkers that I've got to try and avoid. The truth is on this hole, actually, you can see dog legs round to the right slightly. 
There's two on the right hand side, but you want nothing to do with the right hand side because it goes off into wasteland. You're probably going to be lost. The ones that are kind of left of the fairway, but straight on as we look at it, I've never reached those before. So they're what I'm going to be aiming at because as I say, I, I, if I reach them, yes, I'd be disappointed from a score perspective, but I'd be well happy with how I've hit my driver if it goes that far. Straight again. This driver is absolutely money today. Honestly, if I could have had my irons going, we would have been all over this from a scores perspective, but I say you can't play both at the same time, can you? So another wonderful drive, avoided the bunkers, all the same old stuff. It's about 135 yards to the pin. The ball is quite severely below my feet, so I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Normally I'd be hitting a nine, but I'm, I think it's just gonna fade out. Nice high fade into the pin is what I would really like here. Just about getting some good contact on it. Getting it there, please. I might have hit that too well. Stop, it's at the flag. Oh, it's at the flag. Brilliant. Oh, my irons might be coming in. Can you imagine? more breaking it than that. <sighs> Disappointing. Okay, that's a five. Another three pot. Not a great time to the second three putt of the day there, but I did mention at the outset the greens here are difficult. I mean, they're not like anything we have to worry about in the UK. They're like glass and the grain can make a huge difference. We don't generally have to worry about any of that in the UK. So yeah, I, I'm a bit disappointed in that, but I can't say I'm surprised. Hopefully my irons are coming in now. That The last couple of irons have felt much better. So hopefully that's a positive sign. This is a path three over water, as you can see, it's playing about 160 yards. So I'm going to try and get my six iron there. Anything right is fine. There's like a bit of a bailout area if you go right. So I'm probably going to aim right and maybe try for a little drawing. Nah, I've faded it. Should be safe though. So short is that. Safe. Terrible strike again. It's safe, I guess, but uh, distance-wise, terrible. Line, terrible. Strike, terrible. <laughs> uh, it is really an awkward chip on as well because the ball's quite far above my feet. Pin's not very far on, to be honest. If you miss it, it would leak all the way back. So I'm probably going to have to go long and to the right of the flag and leave myself again. What should be a two-putt, but on these greens can quite easily turn into a three-putt. I don't think I've even got that there, have I? Too scared of it again. I'm turning full wimp now. I'm going to put this because I, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <sighs> Nearly make a par. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Maybe I should just use my putter for every shot. I don't think I've ever been so happy about a bogey. So that last bogey now puts us eight over through seven. Um, We've only got five shots to spare now to break 85, six to make 85. Um, 
I don't want to sound pessimistic, I'm, I'm not sure that's doable. There's some really difficult holes coming up as well. Uh, this next one, for example, is a par five. I can't reach it in two. It's challenging in three. Um, so in my mind, I think I'm now trying to beat 90. I'm still going to try and beat 85. Of course I am. And it's not impossible. But given how I'm putting on these greens, given some of the challenges, although it's not been the bunkers, funnily enough, I, I really thought that was going to cost me a good few shots. It might do yet, but so far, it have been really... Uh, really good at avoiding those but it's not quite the golf I've been playing recently it does feel frustrating hopefully you can relate that's part of why we do this channel is because it wants to be relatable golf versus these uh, pros who just stripe it every time they, they step up uh, to hit the ball um, I'm trying to keep upbeat I'm gonna play this I'm probably gonna have a little snack a bit of sugar a bit of energy uh, and try and be a bit more upbeat. Hopefully we can put another good drive on it. The driver's been money, so let's see if we get this par five away and uh, play it nicely. Guess what? I'm trying to avoid the bunkers. And I have down the middle again honestly <laughs> this game is so bizarre but i'm thrilled again with the drive and the tee shot right in the middle of the fairway this is probably the furthest i think i've landed down the fairway on this hole um it's still 270 up to that flag but these uh, this first bunker in the middle is only 160 to carry so i'm going to get my three wood i'm going to try and draw it off those bunkers on the right and hopefully just get it somewhere up there i don't really want this to go miles even i just want to get it up there a little bit so that we can have a chip on it's gone a bit right get lucky i lost sight of that it might be in the wasteland up on the right we'll go see if we can find it we've ended up uh, just here actually a nice light it's, it's not bad I uh, I don't know whether we either left it short or whether it hit one of these trees and bounced out either way I'm happy with where we are 80 yards to go a little 54 degree um, I think probably rather long than short on this but being that I can't really connect with my irons long might not be a, an option sent it out right yeah, again, having been in a pretty good position, we've found ourselves fighting to put a bogey together here. Um, my golf instructor always tells me whenever I'm hitting it wrong, it's my setup. So I'm going to try and focus on that. Make sure I'm setting up right. Because that was pretty much a shank into the tree. As if my confidence in my strike wasn't good already, shanking it is never going to help. Do you know what that's long but it was at the pin it was on the green i was worried i was going to shank it again <laughs> two putts for bogey and not easy everything's rolling away i'm not sure if you can see but just this uh, the side of the flag past the flag from where i am is almost a false front and it all runs away so if i go too far here we could end up off the green again Stop and stop and stop and stop and stop. Okay, pace was good there. Line wasn't great, but anything not off the front of the green is a good day. Just crept in. And again, I'm ending up feeling relieved from a bogey when I had what? What did we say, 80 yards in? And it took me four shots from there. This is depressing though. I'm uh, not quite sure how to, to say 
repair this and break it to you, but there's no real bunkers to worry about on this hole. It's weird. There's a couple on the left, but I mean, you've got to really pull hook to worry about them, which I can do, by the way. <clears throat> but there's no, there's no bunker trouble. I don't, I don't know what to do. I feel all out of sorts. So I just hit it, I guess. Not avoid a bunker. I didn't know that was a thing. Bit of a pull. Uh, the irony would be if I am in one of those bunkers. It was on the line for one, but I think the contours of the fairway will take it away from there. But honestly, that would be brilliant if on the one hole where there's no bunkers to worry about, I ended up in a bunker. Shall we go have a look? No bunker trouble, we're short of it. We've only got about 145 yards left in. The ball's slightly below my feet. So I'm gonna try what I did on the other hole with a little bit of an eight iron, which is probably gonna fade around a little bit come up a little bit shorter than its distance and hopefully get us on the green. Oh, cracking strike at the pin. Get there. Oh, short. I did say it might be short because of the fade on it, but uh, that was online all day. Okay, little chip on and a putt. Another bogey. <clears throat> so just a quick recap then at the halfway stage. We are 10 over through nine holes, which is way off the pace that we need, obviously, to beat 85. <clears throat> it's actually one over beating 90. So we need to do better, really. Um, I really hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below and tell me how this compares to your golf game or any other courses and places in Europe where you'd like to see us go and play. I've really enjoyed coming here and playing in different climate, different things to think about with the bunkers, the sand's different, the fairways are different, the greens, as we mentioned, are different. Um, so let me know where you've played. Uh, great suggestions are very much welcome. So we need to get onto the back nine now and we need to do better. I really hope you're enjoying this. It's killing me if I'm honest, but uh, it's nice to know that maybe some people can relate to it. Maybe some people can uh, sympathize and empathize with what I'm going through at the minute. Um, I just feel my golf isn't quite matching the, the beauty of the course. And ironically, I've looked back at my scorecard and I thought it would be the bunkers and the putting that would be the problem. But actually, I've only got two three putts on the card so far. And I think I've only played one bunker shot on the second that I can remember. It's my irons. The one thing that's been so reliable for me recently is the thing that's gone wrong. My driver's even been money. So that probably makes it feel more frustrating than it is as a round. And maybe if I wasn't trying to break 85, I wouldn't quite feel so frustrated with where I am. I do think we can pull it back a little bit on the back nine. We just need a few pars. They've really been lacking. I would normally expect to at least get five or six pars around minimum. I think I've won so far uh, and a couple of double bogeys, which isn't great. So I do think there's room for improvement on the back nine. Let's see where we can get it to, um, as I said before, anything kind of 90 or under, I would still be happy with at this point. But we do need to get better. Well, that's the tiger line if it's over that bunker. 
didn't really want to go that far left. If it's over the bunker, that's a really short shot in. I took the tiger line, but I'm not tiger. I ended up in the bunker, didn't quite make it over. If you do, it runs down and it's so short. It's about 160 from here, but any club I've got that goes 160 won't get over this lift because I'm quite far into the bunker. So I'm just going to hit a pitching wedge, get it back in play, take my medicine uh, and pitch on for three. Okay, that's a good shot. So did what we said, took our medicine. We're now 90 yards out here. Um, should be a 50 degree. I was tempted to go 9-9 in that bunker, but I just didn't want to hit that lip and stay in. Uh, so maybe that was a little bit of a wimpy shot to go for, but I definitely think it was the right one. Hopefully we can get this on the green now. And it's something short, I think. Not just on the front. Can you believe it? Double bogey to start the back nine. Happy days. So that's it now. We have to go around in level par for the rest of the round. So the pressure's off, I guess, now. Um, 12 over through 10 holes. Uh, so I'm just going to wait for this guy to clear out of the way. There we go. Might as well just go for it. That might be another bunker there. I am in the bunker and I'm going to try something I've never tried before. Hybrid out of the bunker. I've seen people do this and it seems to work out well. It's a par five. I need to advance it down there. I can't go to the right here, but if I can hit it on this lower bit here, there's a chance. The only issue is it really calls for a bit of a fade and I normally draw my hybrid, so. Oh, that's got out nicely. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. It's just over 120 to the middle of the green, but it's 150 to the flag, which is the back. So I'm gonna take a seven iron here. Just try and make sure we get there. I think long's better than short on this hole. It's pretty good if it gets there. Decent enough strike. Leaked right a little bit, but we avoided the bunker. This is really thick, but I'm going to put this because it's all downhill. And honestly, a chip would probably run off the other side of the green, even if I hit it exactly as I want. So I'm just going to and get a putter and if I can get this almost just onto the front of that green I reckon it rolls almost all the way down here I was right it does look at that probably slightly shorter than I'd like to be but can't do much better I don't think it wouldn't have been a better outcome with the chip that's for sure Ah, that feels soothing. Soothing. Same 165 into wind. I think long's better than short, so I'm going to go with a steady five iron. Oh. 
Now this is the shot you want when you're worried about your irons not striking well. Over one bunker with a high lip. There's another bunker there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then the flag, about 30 yards. <laughs> Honestly, this could be a high scoring hole if this goes wrong. Oh, we stiff it on the green. <laughs> this is why the game of golf is so ridiculous and so addictive. I'm playing pretty poorly. My score is terrible, but one shot like that, just flushing it out of the bunker, landing it on the green. It was probably one of the hardest bunker shots I think I've ever played. I'll show a clip of it from the green. Honestly, it just, it, there's no other feeling like it. And that's why we keep coming back. That's why we keep playing. So well, guys, that's the bunker shot I've just played. Up those two bunkers. And round onto the green. Not an easy putt by any means, but I'm on the green and I'm thrilled. Getting it used to maybe these tricky downhill putts. Very happy with that one. I know that's a bogey, but it feels like a birdie. So we now officially need birdies to break uh, the uh, 85 because we're on 13 over par and we're only on the 13th hole. So we need at least one birdie and the rest pars, which I'll be honest, that is not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> so um, that last hole, or last two holes actually, made me feel a bit more positive, pick myself up a little bit. The sun's starting to come out, which always helps. We've got a very challenging drive over water now, but I, I think we can get it sub 90. That's really what I want to do. 90 as a worst case, sub 90 would be awesome. Again, the tiger line, and again, possibly in the bunker. We may have flown that bunker, actually, which would be nice if we have, again, like I said on the 10th, if we've flown the bunker, we're in here one position. If we're in the bunker, take our medicine and uh, carry on. But we missed the water, so you've got to be happy about that. Wow, that is one of the best drives I've ever, in fact, by far, that's actually the best drive I've ever hit on this hole. So you can't quite see, but where those seagulls are, that's the bunker that we were aiming at. It's obviously hit the down slope over that and just rolled all the way to here. We've only got 70 yards left in, middle of the fairway. Honestly, good feelings. Bad score, but good feelings. Yep, happy with that, one the green. said we needed birdies and I was close on that one. I was, I was just a bit scared of everything running towards the water. But another par. Pars I'm very happy with. Just a few more of them would feel good. Short par three playing at 100 and 10-ish yards, so a smooth pitching wedge on this should be the key. This is a gap I have in my bag at the minute, actually, between my pitching wedge and my 50 degree, the kind of 100, 110 mark. So I'm normally hitting a pitching wedge less rather than trying to leather my 50 degree, because I find if I hit that 50 degree hard, the harder I hit it, it just goes further up in the air. So 
We'll chalk down a bit on this and hopefully get the number. That looks pretty good. Yep, that looks very good actually. The iron's maybe coming back to us a little bit. So I saw it did take quite a bounce. I saw that from the tee, so you can see it pitched about here, just over six feet from the pin. It has rolled off to the back of the green here, leaving me a little bit of an awkward downhill putt, but I'm not overly concerned by that. We're looking in decent enough shape. We'll repair that pitch mark and see if we can make another putt. Can't quite tell which way this is breaking. I think it's slightly left to right. Downhill, so we need to be careful with it. No, it did go right to left. That was a tough read on that one. Still another par. The good vibes continue. The sun is out. Maybe I'm just a sunshine golfer. Maybe that's what it is. Either way, that's three pars in five holes on the back nine. We made one in nine on the front nine. So a world of difference feels Good. I didn't see it bounce, but we might be in that bunker. It was drawing round, and I think that's, I didn't, I didn't scope it, that's my fault, I should have scoped that. I think that's in range, that bunker on the right. That's fine, we'll take our medicine if we have to, come out of that one, and uh, get on the green for three. We did make it into the bunker as we thought. We're not quite up against the lip, but it is quite steep, so I'm gonna have to take pitching wedge. Now that it's saying the flag it is about 100, and 20 yards, which means I can, in theory, get there. However, you'll see there's a whole cluster of bunkers right in front of where the flag is. So I'm gonna go right of that and just see if I can get on the green. That would be, be a win if we can just make it onto the green. Again, if we don't, the pitching wedge should get us out to a reasonable place anyway. So it's not the, it's, it's the right club in, in any event. We're out, I went back on that a little bit off balance. But we're out, we'll be chipping on. So about 50 yards to go, 60 degree. Just plonk it up there. Not a bad bunker shot, that last one. After all of that, we have a look at par, which is all I could ask for. Again, I think, Maybe on UK greens, I'd make this 40% of the time, 30% of the time here. <laughs> There's certainly more chance I'm missing this. It's slightly downhill, so again, I'm going to be slightly cautious of it. I'd rather not plough it past for a difficult one coming back. Oh, I thought it was just going to turn in there. That would have been a real... Uh, get out of jail free if we'd have parred that one given we were in the bunker but to drop one shot with a bunker on the hole I'm always happy with that so that's a bogey so hole 16 last par 5 of the day it's not reachable in two, but it is uh, very scorable. Par is definitely in play here. Um, probably not a birdie unless you put a chip shot really close to the flag on your third. Um, but it plays nice. It's, it's pretty open. There's not a lot of danger apart from the obvious bunkers everywhere. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we've got a good chance of uh, maybe pulling another shot back 
here. We are now 14 over through 15 holes, so we've brought it under the 90, uh, projecting under the 90 now, which is better. But I still feel we can kick on a little bit. None of these last three holes uh, are out outside of being able to par as long as you just hit half decent shots. That's all we need, half decent shots. Not even our best stuff now, half decent shots. Lovely draw, middle of the fairway. That should put us in a good position for our second. Again, par in play with that tee shot. Really happy with that drive. I'm actually on a flat lie on this hole, which is almost impossible because it's, all, it's like a valley. So if you're not in the middle, you're either on a down slope or an up slope hitting the second shot. I don't ever think I've had a flat shot on this hole before. It's still 270 to the pin. Um, I could go after it with a three wood to get as close as I can, but I was between my five wood and hybrid, and I'm using five wood purely because I've not used it yet today. Um, I like my five wood, so hopefully it'll be kind to me. Just get us down there a little bit. Give us a chip on. We want a stress-free hole. That's what we want on this one. Came off balance a little bit, but a nice draw. I'll roll on down there. It'll be a little wedge on. Five wood was kind to us. What a really pleasant surprise there. I'm just walking up to my ball for the five wood, and I'm right next to the greenside bunker. I'm probably only like 20, 30 feet away from the pin, which means that five wood just went well over 200 yards, and I didn't even strike it out of the face, so. That's really positive. A nice draw, I guess. It's hard fairways, it's just rolling down. Um, so yeah, we've got a nice little chip on here. And if we can put it close, we might, I don't wanna get too fired myself, we might have a birdie putt. I would be happy with pars, we know this. We would be happy with pars. Pars make us feel safe and comfortable. A little bit of an awkward stance. My heels are just resting on the side of the bunker there, but Shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. Come back round, maybe. Yep, happy with that. I can't remember many uphill putts I've left myself. This isn't one of them. Again, downhill. Um, slight break, I think, right to left. It is a birdie putt, and I know they say you should never leave a birdie putt short, but. If I don't leave this short, it's going to mean we probably bogey rather than par, so I am going to try and leave this short. <gasps> I thought I'd made that then. He just, I don't know if you can see there's a little uh, pitch mark there, and he just hit it and took it away at the last minute. I was almost celebrating before that went in the hole, and I'm glad I didn't because. That would have been highly embarrassing. But again, I'm happy with the part. Probably going to be in the bunkers, I think. Yeah, I don't think I can carry those bunkers and I didn't get all of that. It's okay. Take our medicine. We'll play out and we'll see where we get. When your luck is in, your luck is in. Well, I say luck, I've actually massively flown that bunker. I'm 25 yards past it, so uh, I must have uh, caught more of it than I thought. Still felt like I left a little bit out there. So we're only about 110 yards to the pin. So again, I'm just going to take a little bit off the pitching wedge here. Just try and get it there. Get it on the green and some putts. That's all we're looking for.
Might be a bit short, but it should play. Oh, hold on the green. Yep, just held on the edge of the green. Comfortable, happy with that. This is actually a tricky two foot from here, so there's a bit of a ridge here. It's uphill then downhill and breaks left to right. How much of any of those things? I'm struggling to read. Well, certainly not as much left, uh, right to left as I thought. <laughs> Pace wasn't actually that terrible if I'd have gone at it. Yeah, that's a five. We can live with that. So we're just about to tee off on the final hole. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far in the video. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster. I must apologise for being a little bit grumpy early on in the round. I don't know whether it's because we started early, it was cold. You know what, I could throw a million excuses at it. It was none of the things I expected it to be. It wasn't the bunkers, it wasn't the putting necessarily. It was my irons, it wasn't even my driver. Um, but we pulled it back. So far on this back nine, we're five over par with one to play, which means we're 15 over in total. So barring a disaster on this last, we should come in under 90, which I can't be disappointed with to say where we were um, at the turn. Um, so thank you for sticking with it, <laughs> thank you for putting up with me and my very Jekyll and Hyde golf. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. We really want to try and get to that thousand subscriber mark and beyond as quickly as we possibly can. Also remember to like the videos, that helps the algorithm, it boosts the channel which we really appreciate. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss when we drop new content. As I've said there's several videos of Spanish content coming after this one please don't miss them turn on the notification bell and leave a comment tell us what kind of challenges you'd like to see us do tell us what kind of content you'd like to see from us but for now let's try and finish out on a positive Oh, I've sent it out right on the last hole. We're okay out there, but that wasn't a good uh, <laughs> that wasn't a good drive to finish on. It's a terrible drive on the last hole. Sprayed it out right, really short. It's still about 190 odd yards to the pin, and obviously there's bunkers all around the green as you would expect. So I'm just going to get my seven iron, get myself back in play, I think, um, over these trees, and then chip on. As we said, take the medicine. Yeah, that should play pretty nicely. The pin's on that side of the green, so I'm pretty happy with that. I should probably play the percentages here, but I'm going to take a 60 degree to this because I think I can cover that bunker. It's only about 45 to cover the bunker. The flag's about 50. Should be all right. I'm really happy with the path that I've left myself here to say I was out of position off the tee. But you know, something I really struggle with, and I never really do, is backspin the ball. Let me just show you where that landed. That pitched here. Oh, you can see the pitch mark. And it is on a bit of a down slope, but it's spun its way all the way back there. I've never done that before. I really wish we'd have caught that on camera. Never mind. Um, but we've still got a decent path up. Let's see if we can make it. Just rolled away to the side at the end, so that's another bogey. Let's cock up the score.
thanks for joining us uh, today. I hope you've enjoyed that video. So we finished on 88, which is very respectable. In fact, our back nine was six over par, which included a double bogey on the 10th. So I'm really happy with that. And actually, if we could have got the same on the front nine, that would have broken 85. I did say it was going to be a challenge. It does push me to my limits. So I'm very happy with sub 90, especially given some of the shots I was playing on that front nine. Um, so, can't be disappointed. Join us next time. We're going to do another break 85. It'll be back in the UK by then. Hope you can come along and maybe next time we might just do it. See you later.